Okay, welcome back to another part of the Tylus Grand Campaign. Uh, trying to think what we where we was last time. That was it. We are getting ready to attack Sardes, and then we'll carry on going east. So the money we've got, I've spent some money on a couple of units. Yeah, building some at the moment, but I'll finish with the rest in the next turn. Let's do this first. Oh, but we need to get. Sp oh no, we've got a spy. That's fine. And hope to God this audio is sorted out now, so I don't have to worry about that. I won't be able to do as much recording as I'd normally do this week because I've been working my ass off. Wait a minute. Sorry about that, my f my f uh, house phone just went off, it's just one of them stupid things. Oh, this is an initiative for uh, gas boilers, so it's obviously just hanged up. Fuck off. Enemy wounded, uh, Ephesus, Ephesus. And we can put Spire in here, so they can rank up a little bit. It's going to be, oh that was it. We use, uh, oh shit, they've got their fleet or army sitting there at the moment. We need to do some ice swarm. God, they're expensive. Do a couple of them, and then uh, the rest will go into this. Maybe they be the one guy of it. Yeah, that was it. So we we'll send that four army stack down. So we've got two to come across, and we've got the um, the fleet as well, which could potentially take that out at some point if I sit there. But I'll need to whack a few more units into them. I might put the music up just a smidge because I think it's a bit quieter now. It was one extreme in the first uh, part of <laughs> using the mod, and now it's gone a bit. Sounds a bit quiet. Here we go. They're on the, on the move. It is a simple gift. Yeah, give me money. Gold. So we may have a battle on our hands. So it's currently moved the fleet down now. It's not make much difference, to be perfectly honest. But these guys can at least move because they're obviously. Oh, we've got a full twenty stack, and we've got a sixteen, and we've only got. That's not too bad. Two Celt Royals, four tribes, and one Levy, some Stingers, and then we've got the army stack itself. Oh, they're quite ranked up. Well, it might be alright, but obviously, if we can get there in time, we can uh, send these guys across. And let's finish this off. So we've got. Let me got them. We need Ballista first, so. One. Four of them, should we finish them off with five? No. Nah. Let's get an extra one of them. So that's all done. Uh, let's look at infrastructure. What can we do to get some more money? That would be the first one. Plus slaves. Potentially do that one. Because I'm going to start getting a few more slaves as soon as possible. And then this one that can be food or that 
Hmm. Let's do cavalry units actually. So, no, um, may even get stolen from me in a minute, but we shall see. I forgot to do music. Saying so, no, that, I might as well just leave it as this. I think it'd be alright. See, there's a new Egyptian army up there as well. Off. Ooh, I have to do that. So I can't actually do anything this turn. These guys can move back. Let's move them a bit closer. They still, yeah, they can still get the ocean from there, so we'll leave them to Okie dokie Cool master, they should be done within the next turn. Yep, and we can start moving them downwards. I think that'd be the last time we stack until we get a bit more money in. So Egypt just moved up against me. Peace is not an easy hmm. word. Warriors speak of honor and glory, but you have little of them left. No. You just care about me, I kill you. Simple. And we need all your settlements. So they must be at war with somebody else, or taking too much of a loss to actually offer me a peace treaty, which is weird. Check to play with see who they are at war with. There we go. Interesting. Oh god, this is going to be a bit weird. Um, this will be our first proper naval battle. I don't know how that's... We must have obviously a life. Obviously my ships have got the ramming capabilities compared to them. One, two, three, four. I have to make sure my skirmishes do the bulk of the uh the damage though. We do have three oaths on two normal units and one one with which is my general. The only thing with the uh, naval battles, which I've learned from before, they're very, very derpy with like the ships itself. You have to click on each individual ship, even after you've just sent it to attack someone to make sure that it stops, reverses in a sense, and then um, re-engages. Soul ships awaiting your word. Ready, willing, and able. Battle group ready. Might actually break these up into a twos. So that's that flank, and then because I've to bend, we need to do that and see what they've got coming towards us. May I actually get them to attack me first. Come on, Kratos. Let's destroy these motherfuckers. Get ready. This is what the whole Pirates DLC is all about. 
Piracy of the high seas, Mahartes. These two in reserve, I'll be putting them up to there though. What's up, firing please? They're getting fired one themselves, but. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, that one's being crushed. That one's crushed as well. Make this guy move in. Come on, re-engage, please. Oh, fuck that. He ain't doing anything, is he? Okay, it's getting to moving over there. He's been retarded. Yeah, they can be quite deaf here, as you can tell. Our missiles are waiting for your word. Ready, willing, and able. Set off! Warriors ready, ready! The sword ships reporting! So obviously these guys are very good at ramming but they seem to be a bit retarded when it comes to doing it sometimes. That one's been right so you can go ram into that. Yeah, that's got cool. They're ramming and let's go. Time again. Ready, willing, and Obviously this is against transport ships, ships so it's a bit different. Full speed! His head is high! Ready! Willing! Warriors of Gaul! To the old! Ah, we've got this. They're pretty much done, aren't they? Yeah, so they're really good with the, the ramming side of things. There we go, boom. But then again, like I just said, this is... Um, they are transport shits, but, but easy way to clear out. 285 losses. That potentially could be a lost unit, but... And there, was, there wasn't any fighting, really. <laughs> Obviously skirmishes would, but that's how it is. Let's check what they did. Just skirmishes, no one else. I oh, minus them ones because they boarded the that skirmishing unit. Do 
dun, dun, dun. Music's gone. Where is it? God damn it. Yeah, we did lose that skirmishes, but look. Ha <laughs> ha! The sea beckons! Oh, that's one less army of devs. Sabotage. We've got additions as well. So these guys are done. Start moving them down. Well. I'll just move into here actually. And these guys can move down, obviously. Egypt, we're at war with. Can we reach them? Nope. We will get there either, either way, so they can't really do anything. Um, we just lost this skirmishing unit. Same time we do this. Shots per minute for all support ships, because we've got skirmishers. Let's do that. Saying that sports ships would probably be more like the Yongas and Ballista, but still. Search rate, mm, could do. But let's do two percent morale. Uh, where is it? Skirmishing. And fuck it, throwing all both sawing in there. That'd be it for the fleet. We'll keep them at, at half with twenty at uh, ten, so. And. We've got that. We could potentially get these two. Great Hall. This is damage for land units. Charge bonus for land units. 20. So well, that's something to think about. Yeah, I think we'll go over this because I've already got it. Do let's do this one. We'll finish off this one for corruption because I think corruption is like five percent in some. Yeah. Oh shit. So ten percent. So that'd be ideal. I oh, know that's just that one province. I oh, know it's all provinces. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Hundred percent. Rank 1 Dick and Cherries because I still haven't got them. That'll do probably order and then um We can build up to these ones which will obviously I can't do that now just to get the corruption down with twenty percent but let's do this to get that ten percent. We don't really need the twenty percent yet. So we'll finish off this tier which will do public order tax rate. Uh, agent costs will go down and obviously ten percent corruption so wait turn these guys should be able to move in a minute uh, currently we don't actually have money to do any secret agent shit but because they've got two floating about that Egypt are going to be forced to be reckoned with as well. But it does look like Pontus are actually having a hard time at the moment. I forgot to check the diplomacy for them. We'll do that in a sec. Because they haven't made a push against me for a little while. And all the segments I've taken off them so far have all been garrison. Those are my bloody wells. Okay, at least they've ranked up. Yeah, they've got quite a few enemies. Libya, Pafava, 
basically anything from the Seleucids, but the ones which would be near them are Midia, Colchis, which is around here, normally, me, and Sarkaria, uh, I think they're not, I can't remember where they are actually, it's off my head. Let's just see if we can get I will listen. Days. I cannot say for how long, for matters of Let's state and a splendid... Nope. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. I think that'd be it. There's no point in wasting time talking to these sweats. First things first. Oh yeah, he needs to go up a rank, then not he? I don't think he's going to be able to do a lot, to be perfectly honest. chance. Enemy wounded. Sweet. Mm. Let's move them closer. Let's get her assassination up. Um, Oh, should we actually get these in the water? Ready for battle. Let's get him over here actually because he needs to go way. drop off. And same for them. But obviously we've got to be careful in case they do try and get onto land. We've got 20 stack. 5, which would be a fleet. 1. And then a few little skirmishes. And obviously the garrison. But that's such... That is a settlement, not a province capital. Maybe a port settlement, at least. Yeah, Egypt has got quite a few troops. I think they've got a big chunk of uh, land as well. Peace is not God, they really word. want peace, don't they? Warriors. They must be getting crushed. Aye. So yeah, I'm gonna qu hopefully quickly wrap up Saturday so I can just push on to them, and get money, 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 and then the uh, sixth army stack will be built. It's probably better actually, isn't it? Fuck me, 2000. Here we go! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna make it better for my land units. So, here we go. Again, second naval battle. This time around, we've got one extra wave storm. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. They've got four skirmishing, like, sorry, five skirmishing units, including the hogs, so the others are not really a problem. Just don't let them land onto my, well, you know what I mean, board my boat, it's not land. The Harpy's Claws, sounds like a claw. Griffin's Grace and the Champions of Olympus. We are the troubled waters, and we're going to be fucking troubling theirs. They'll be fearing us in their baths, in their toilets, in any water around the world. Oath sworn. Bit of a weird insignia for Tylus though. It looks like inbreded like human or it looks like a bum. <laughs> Support ships ready. So it's not that one, is it? We are gone. Points. Support ships ready. Swear. Dry. Battle group awaiting your word. 
Oh, my team. No, but... Fuck it. It's one of each. Jim will come pile in as well. As long as he get, don't get his boat bloody sunk. So that's reinforcements, man. Um, oh, yeah, shit. I've got about these guys. We've got a couple of ours. Let's get them floating in. Not a lot really, but it's better than nothing. Companion cavalry, oh my god. They're coming at ya, Cleopatra. Sideways. Ready and waiting. Assault ships reporting. Walls. Aye. Support ships ready. Fire. So that happens with diamond horses, mate. They seem to be doing some weird arcing formation. So let's take out what we can. Well, they're obviously over there, they're trying to form up with them. Which is a bit weird then. Okay, now, move up to them. Let's move back actually. Grow off, please. He's getting hit as well. Okay, they can fire again. God, if, imagine if we had some ballista ones, that'd be perfect. Might, might put a couple, well, once you get some money, I'm going to put a couple more skirmishing units with these guys. Okay, let's move them off. Row, 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 boat, Jenny down stream. Okay, so they've actually run out of... Oh, where are you going, mate? Fuck me. Okay, he's fucked. So let's start ramming. He needs to move out of the way. Okay, they're getting boarded. So let's get these dudes maneuvering. Gone, so we disengage, help this one that. Okay, quickly swap. guys you can move up to try and reinforce because it's not going too well at the moment. Assault ships awaiting your word. Crewed by warriors and ready. Pack them down. Warriors of gore. Weapons ready. Okay, smash into that one. Ready, winning and able. Go and help with this, please. These guys maneuvering, so you go down there. Ooh, we're getting fucked up, son.
Okay, that one's gone. Spinneroonie. Come on, spin round please. What are you doing, you retards? There we go. because they seem to be spazzing out there and we can't afford to lose our general move please oh. right fucked if we lose our fleet it's not too bad but still the general is it's why I don't like naval battles because it's so derpy Take out what you can. The fact you actually have to like get each unit to do what it's supposed to is ridiculous. Go on, move out of the way, please. You have to basically tell it to go hee and hit into it. They need to fucking work on this. Their troops, so <laughs> yeah, I think if AI wasn't so fucking derpy, it'd be alright. You have to literally hold its hand for each little shove. Once you kick right click on a unit, fair enough, it's got to be facing the same way, but it just sits there. Oh well, what can you do? But we took out a lot of their units at least. I've got some more cash to just build another fleet. Simple ways. Because the worst was the um the general. I I right click nothing. Right click nothing. And they just sat there and obviously over a while they're gonna just get blown up, aren't they? It takes so much hull damage you're gonna sink, so But yeah, but they're really good at ramming and these are like 
they're not some of them are not even the top tiers and they can just, I know these are transport ships but they just take them straight out so I'm happy with them minus the AI that's why I never really liked naval battles it's been the same since the game's come out they've hardly done anything to it that's my own personal opinion some people might think it's a lot better now but it's better than floating ships or <laughs> all that shit when the game first came out that was Derp Centro. Oh, we actually got two things left. Yeah, but that's the main thing, look. Yeah, it's sunk. Oh no, still got two. So I have a new general and we've still got two ships. Let's say wipe it out now. But the main thing, their biggest army stack is now gone. We shall have war. And what is it good for? Oh no. Is to us all. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back to here with a tail between our legs and then we'll get our secret double O agents Dark shadows let's try and do it with a wall made in him that's more of a chance them. sweet there was never Let's get the food in. Uh, and these guys can. Oh no, no, yeah, that's for the next turn. They attacked me, didn't they? I think. Let's double check in a minute, but if not, we have to loop round, and you can't actually disembark there with transport ships. But it means I could build some more fleet units, so... Then considering they're not really the uh, pirate faction out of all of them, it's the RDI and uh, Obsidian Kingdom who've got the better ship units. They're not too bad for Tylus. Or Tillis. It's hard, to, it's hard to pronounce it, well, I think it's, because Ty would be T-I-E, or Population Surplus, yeah, we can't actually go around that way, so we're going to have to go derp into the sea, so first things first, Get him back, anyways. They can get in the sea, float about a little bit. I don't want to have get too fucked up though, because obviously they're transport ships, and look what just happened to theirs. I'm gonna lose them. Hopefully we can uh, take them out. They're moving back a bit now, which is good. So I may just send the uh, the small fleet I've got over. So let's send these guys back. 
Oh, they can get a couple of skirmishing units within them. They're still in their little zone. And let's whack another one of them. Levy's, nah, assault radar, medium assault radar, heavy radar, medium missile radar, missile radar. Fuck it. And that'd be, oh no, we need it for one turn and we'll send them in. Oh, we have, have we got any cash to actually do it? 305, no, what about manipulation? Nope. Okie dokie karaoke. Would this do anything? Okay, they just make some piss off. Um, yeah, let's send these derp heads in. That should be alright for the next term. What I'll do is, uh, just before, well, depending, um, what it is, or uh, resolve, auto resolve wise, um, I'll end the part once we've taken the settlement. If it is a battle, I'll end the part anyways, and then the battle will be in the next part. If that makes sense. Spartacus Mobidius. That reminds me, I haven't watched Spartacus in year. Well, I'll say about a year. I may watch it again. If you guys, obviously, um, I'm going to try and keep the episodes a bit interesting. We can have little discussions or leave comments below. Um, what would you say would be your ultimate? Obviously, it has to be like Roman kind of period or anything uh, old school. So it can be from Vikings, Romans, Greek. Like, what would be your favourite uh, film which is based in that era? For me personally, Thirteenth um, Warrior. Even though it's not exactly. <laughs> It's not exactly um, historical as such. Well, it could be. But if you've ever watched 13th Warrior, you know what I'm talking about. The only thing that's shady about the film is Antonio Banderas is the uh, the lead. But basically, it's a film set as... Um, he's from the Arab lands and a Viking convoy. or He's basically an emissary and he talks to some Vikings because the Vikings did in real history go down all the way up to Sicily and sometimes further but obviously we don't know exact history if um, they did go further or not we wasn't there so blah 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 but um, anyways the film is that he goes to he gets told that he has to go with the 12 other warriors and he's the 13th warrior to um, basically Norway Sweden where the Vikings are supposedly you know their home base or homeland and uh there's tales of dragons and people eating each other. So basically what it is, there's a cult. There's, they're so big, there's probably like 500, 600 of them. They come down from the mountain or caves where they're located. And they all carry in fire torches, which is supposed to represent the, the dragon. And uh, they're cannibals. It's really cool. It's like, it's a bit of an underrated film. It's not the best thing ever, but it's just a cool concept. Uh, obviously, stuff like Gladiator... Uh, TV programs like Rome itself, which is a HBO with such a good program. Spartacus, even though that's obviously CGI and stuff like that. But if you've got any films or TV programs which are based that kind of era that you like, uh, put, leave them in the link below, uh, in the comments below. I, if I haven't seen them, it'd be something for me to watch and enjoy. Okay. Traipsos and thingies. <laughs> so we'll blockade the port. Blocky. Let's see what we're up against. Oh, this is going to be all over resolved, isn't it? Get the blockade set up. The way ahead is blocked. 
Can we do it from this? Yeah, now we can. Yeah, there's no point of doing it, but look, 6,000 against them, and they're not exactly the best units. Bye-bye, Sardes. And the fleet can actually rank up a bit as well, which is good. We'll take them. Enemy captured. It's good. Let's raise. So that new fleet is ranked up now. Okay, that's that thief there. So I'll leave that. I'll catch them. Okay, let's get these guys to obviously stay in the settlement. These guys can move back. I'm going to sort this out first. Morale and obviously other, both of these ranked up, so... Oh, that's actually just a general, isn't it? Yeah. Armor, shots with archers. Mm, let's do that because they'll help out a little bit. Missile units and then standard again. Let's do armor. So we'll leave obviously the fleet here as well. And then let's check this. Let's do these ones first, like I said last time. Uh. 31 and food no 600 oh that's nothing we could do I think we could do that in the next turn yeah and then I'll end up part there I'm going to try and catch up with the Galatians campaign as well, so we'll pretty much be even for both of these, Tylus and the Galatians. And then ideally, I'll try and get it to be one episode, one episode, one episode of each. Makes more sense then. It's not as, as erratic. But it seems I've done a lot more turns in this campaign than I have for the Glaciers. But if this is like 150 odd turns, and look at I've hardly taken anything. I think I've probably been a bit too cautious. So I've been wounded. Oh, fuck me. I'm trying to adopt everything, aren't I? So I can't actually do that this turn. Oh, this one. Put these guys in there. At least we've got a feasible fleet, which is good. Let's get rid of them. Now we can just push on to Pontus. Admiral's gone up as well. Let's have him stationed there. I oh, know saying that. We need to move him up, don't we? So we can get some more units. So obviously, fleet. So let's move him back into this vicinity at Pella. And we can. Once we get some money in, which no doubt we will, because there's three settlements, four settlements, five settlements for the taking, and it should be quite easy. Let's start moving them up now, actually. Four, yep, so that's fine. Start moving them up. Uh, we might have to wait because it's just gone down to four now. But Nick and Media, they can 
19, so they can move up. And we, well, maybe not actually. Yeah, they do need to be upgraded, these things. They have to be it's on 100 plus. Because there's a lot of things which are on level 1s, which I need to get up so we get some more cash, and obviously public order, blah de blah de blah. The Etruscan League. Dun 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 dun. I don't think they even was even human league, so I'm gonna just sung them. <laughs> oh, Sardes, what are you gonna be doing? You gonna do a massive counter attack? Yes, you are with a champion. Champion. I think that. Army near Ephesus has got the Zibleg. Agent recovered. I saw this crap out first. That was the main idea. Well, it would help if the settlement was actually there. <laughs> okay, he's disappeared. Sweet. You know, well, we'll do that on the next part because otherwise we're going to be here all bloody day, aren't we? Where's the secret double O agent? Well made in, you can kill that off. There you go. Fucking piss me off with your stupid actions. There we go. God damn it. But I'll do that next term. Okay, we'll see everyone in the next part. Hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, if you've watched the whole video and heard what I said about the comments about films and TV programs, please leave it down below. And I'll see you all next time.